welcome back to KK Snails and welcome to my one year anniversary special! Woo! If you have not watched my episode from last week, I asked you guys to submit submit questions about nail polish or about my about my channel. I'm gonna answer your questions, but first let me tell you what's on my nails. I'm wearing Moonshine Manny. Would you like some sherbet? Now without now without further ado, let's get right to the questions. So the first question says be asked by Becky A and Lindsay. How many bottles do I have in my collection? I have 321 nail polishes. So I'm a polish holic. Now Becky A also asked me what's my favorite polish? I can tell you it, that it's a tie between working shirt balls and Honor Bakes and Key, key Lime Pie because I love the fun Curly's because I really love love the loved all the glitters. Now she wants to know what what my favorite colors for polishes. I do love all the colors of, of the rainbow combined, but my know my favorite color is pink because I wear a lot a lot of pink a lot. And she also asks what's my favorite finish for nail polish. Hmm. I like creams because because they're like easy to apply. I like curlies because I like how different bases mix with different different glitters and and metallic because they're really shiny and sparkly. Now Kim asked me what's my favorite way to remove glitter polish? Now if you use nail polish remover and your cotton things it's best to like scrub it off but if you didn't get as much glitter off you can either use a nail file to kind of buff it off or you could just try washing your your hands so that the glitter doesn't so the glitter comes off now the next question came from from Sandy she wants to know what led me to doing KK's nails? I've been lo watching a lot of nail polish reviews on, on YouTube and I want to follow in BB Moon's foot footsteps. Love you, BB. So, and, and I wanted to start my channel and hopefully in the future maybe I'll want to start my own nail polish brand. Now we got we got a couple of questions came from Dana. First one she asked me, Essie versus OPI. Let me tell you this. I love both Essie and OPI because I love their colors and I love how creative they both they will both each come up their names and no and an OPI really is really really cool collections for every season. She also wants, Dana also wants to know what are best colors for the summer. Pinks, yellows, oranges, neon, neon colors. And stay tuned at the end what, what's coming up, what's coming up next, what's coming up next week. Dana also wants to know any tips to pre prevent the smudge. Be sure you separate the, your your fingers out so so the fingers don't keep like touching each other so they don't smudge and and the best smudge I use used to to fix it is Orly Salon Nail Smudge Smudge Fixer. It works it works really easy to fix to fix smudge. Now now, Dana wants to know any favorite brands or colors I swear is by. Uh, OPI, anything 
anything that has any colors I've, I've never seen. And Dana wants to know where are my thoughts on this stick on nail polish sheet slash nails. Um, I've just, I know, I've seen them before, but I was worrying about, not worrying about if it, if it covers well on my nails, or, but I prefer painting them because it's much easier. Now, the next question came from Felicia. Do I feel like base coat and top coat are worth it? Make a difference, and if so... What brand do I recommend? Yes, of course, you need to use base coat and top coat so your nails can last longer and full opacity and all that stuff. So I prefer getting Orly top base coat, which you can get at CVS. The Orly chip resistant top coat that you can find at CVS. Or you can get OPI's base coat and top coat because they because this works this works well. Now the last question came from Rebecca. When did I start painting my nails and what advice do I have about keeping a manicure looking good? I think I started like in late I think I started in like late teenagers or early 20s. I didn't have time going to the nail salon. And the good advice for keeping the manicure look good is is to don't bite your don't bite your nails until they can grow really long and long and strong. And if you if you ever break it, you can just file it to, so so the nails look even and <laughs> and be careful painting them. Now, uh, thank you, thank you everyone for submitting questions and, and supporting KK's Nails, it's been a good, quite a year. I would like to ask you guys what your favorite part about, about KK's Nails. Please leave a comment below, I love to hear it. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe and join the fans of KK's Nails. And coming up next week, I'll be swatching and reviewing the Moonshine Manny's Feel the Force Collection. That will be launching on April 9th, which is on Kimberly's birthday. Please, please stay tuned for that. Have a nice weekend, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!